you. This is for all you ladies out there who like a bargain. And this is called Buy One, Get One, Free Girls. I'm Charlie and welcome to another episode of the Time Traveller Diaries. Now today we'll be visiting film locations which featured in the 2021 movie The Electrical Life of Louis Wayne. Now this movie starred Benedict Cumberbatch, Claire Foy, Toby Jones and was narrated by Olivia Coleman. It's based on the true story of troubled artist Louis Wayne who was predominantly known for painting and drawing cats. So without rambling on any further, let's get to the locations. Now this is Coast House in Warmer Kent, England and this is the house that was used as Louis Wayne's house in the movie. Now if you look at the shutters of the house you can see they're currently painted white but for the film the producers insisted on them being painted pink. Now the real Louis Wayne never lived in this house. His house was in Westgate-on-Sea in Kent, England but interestingly this is the real former home of somebody else. And as you can see by this plaque, this was the real home of jo Joseph Lister, who was a pioneer of antiseptics. Now, I'm sure many of you have heard of the mouthwash Listerine. Listerine was named after Joseph Lister. And Joseph Lister is even mentioned by actor Jake Gyllenhaal in the 2001 movie Donnie Darko. We're about to show you a clip of the movie in which the Wayne family were playing games inside this kind of secluded hedge area. We can't get inside because it's private property, but you get the general idea. Now, whilst you watch this clip of the Wayne family playing games, note how you can see Coast House in the background and other recognisable buildings. Now we're about to show you another clip from the movie which ends with the camera going up to this window in which you see Benedict Cumberbatch painting and drawing. Now also before we show you this clip, notice this kind of steeple effect on this house in the background of the shot. He realised that the memories he still held of his dear wife Emily and darling Peter had become powerful conductors of that mysterious electricity in the atmosphere. We're now on Warmer Beach and we're going to show you another clip from the movie which was filmed on this beach. Notice various buildings in the background. And it was roughly in this spot where I'm standing right now, where Benedict Cumberbatch stood when he was playing Louis Wayne. Now the film is brilliant, The Electrical Life of Louis Wayne. I watched it last night and I highly recommend it. And here is another quick shot of roughly where Benedict Cumberbatch was stood. Now this is kind of an off-screen crew shot notice Deal Pier in the background behind me.
Now, sadly, later in life, Louis Wayne would develop a serious mental illness. His sister had already been diagnosed with schizophrenia and eventually Louis would be diagnosed with the same mental affliction. He even spent time in various psychiatric institu institutions, including Bethlehem Hospital, which is also known as Bedlam. He passed away on the 4th of July 1939, aged 78, in Hertfordshire, England. Now, the author, H.G. Wells, who wrote The Time Machine, was a big fan of Louis Wayne. Now, I'll put a quote from H.G. Wells on the screen. And since his death, Louis Wayne drawings and paintings are now worth quite a substantial sum, although, unfortunately, there are many forgeries. Well, that brings us to the end of this episode. Thank you for watching and please share the video and like and comment. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Time Tra Traveller Diaries, and also like our Facebook page, The Time Traveller Diaries. We really appreciate you enjoying this aspect of history. So we'll see you next time on The Time Traveller Diaries.